Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Aditya Gupta and I did my undergraduation from Ames Delhi and following which I did my post-graduation from Ames Delhi in Pediatrics and currently pursuing my DM in Pediatric Oncology. Now this is for the all the neat UG aspirants who so just recently cleared their exam. First of all, a big congratulations to all of you. I mean, uh, you worked hard for two, three, four years, you know, depending on the number of drops you take, whatever it is. And now you have finally achieved success. Enjoy the success and uh, enjoy this moment. This is your moment. You have waited for this forever. And but. As you all know, there are some delays that are happening. There has been a UG counseling delay that is happening. Uh, you probably have one more, one, one and a half month more before the counseling starts and another two months before you actually join your dream MBBS college. So what to do in this two months time? I mean, bore ho ho exam, you gave your exam back in September. Ab do mahine ho gaye. Netflix dekh liya ho ga sara hai. Amazon Prime dekh liya ho ga sara hai. Samaj nahi aara ho ga. Kare ek to kare kya. So I'll suggest, uh, so these are my top uh, things that I'll suggest for you to do in this two months time for to have a most productive time of your life. To do, be more productive before you actually end up joining a medical college. The first one is travel. Uh, I'm someone who has always been a travel freak, someone who has always enjoyed traveling, probably because of the fact that I uh, am a defense brat. My father was in Air Force and I always moved around. But having said that, I'm, some, I'm pretty sure a lot of you enjoy traveling. Uh, the reason I'm saying travel is because I'll actually say since I posted a video on choosing your college as far as your MBBS is concerned and a lot of you are confused ki ye college ne ya ye college ne. In scenario mein, I'll say club your uh, traveling with deciding upon your college. For example, I saw a comment somewhere ki GMCH Guwahati loo ya Ames Guwahati loo. I'll say make a trip to Guwahati. You know, make a trip to Guwahati and Shillong. I have been to Northeast. Both Guwahati and Shillong are excellent places to be. You know, one day go to GMCH uh, Guwahati, next day go to Ames Guwahati. Talk to the people there, talk, see the hospital, see the patient inflow, see the classroom, see the hostels, see the kind of messes they have. Talk to interns. Most importantly, talk to interns because they will be, since they have completed their MBBS journey over there, they will be the ones who will be getting the best, uh, have the best possible knowledge to tell you that college ke high positives kya hai, negative kya hai. And that will help you take a more guided decision than relying someone on the internet like me. I mean, I understand that my knowledge is broad, yes, but my knowledge is not infinite. I am a human after all. There are some limits to my call, uh, knowledge. And I'll accept those limits. I have so knowledge, I will guide you with that. But someone who asked me this, I'm sorry, I actually don't know how to choose between these two colleges. Uh, Ames Guwahati, it's, it's going to be a central institute. It will have its perk. It will have its advantages, like I've said. PG quota will not get a But then I also know that GMCH Guwahati in Assam mein, there is bond as well. In such a scenario, Ames Guwahati mein infrastructure is better. Hone wala hai. I'm pretty sure hostels better. Honge. But I don't know in uh, government medical college Guwahati mein kya hai. So I am like, you know, I am not a know all. Uh, I have my limitations. In such a scenario, if you're actually someone who's confused between two colleges, I'll say take a trip. Go visit the Kamakya Temple in Guwahati, visit Kaziranga, Assam, Assam State Zoo, Assam State Museum. You can take a trip all the way trip to Shillong. Shillong has beautiful colleges. You know, my point is that travel and club it with something that is going to be productive for you. Especially if you are someone who's confused between choosing a medical college, make a trip out of it. Uh, I just recently advised someone, like, I'll give my own example. Uh, UG ke time, obviously, MBBS Delhi mein mil rahi, Ames Delhi mein mil rahi thi, tab to koi confusion nahi tha. But uh, PG ke time pe, I was confused ki main Ames Delhi se pediatrics karu ya Ames Jodhpur se radio karu. I took a trip to Jodhpur. I booked the uh, booked a train ticket the very next day. I was getting this confusion. Went to Jodhpur, met my friends who were there in Ames Jodhpur, explored Jodhpur, came back after two days. Trip bhi okay. It cleared my confusion that you know I have to stay back in Ames Delhi. I found it to be better to do pediatrics at Ames Delhi rather than doing Ames uh, Jod, uh, Ames Jodhpur pe radio at that point of time. So my confusion clear ho gayi, I'm pretty sure tumhari confusion bhi clear ho jayegi. Now as far as how deciding a college is concerned, I'll say talk to the finalists or the interns, ya the latest batch. Ab jaise Guwahati to naya khula hai, to wahan pe to second or third year honge maths se unse baat karo. Uh, first and second prof ke liye important hota hai labs kaisi hain, unki you know anatomy lab kaisi hai, cadavers kitne hain. Final prof mein dekho ki outpatient and inpatient department kitne flow kitna hai. Ye mat mere sab se ye important nahi hai ki bahut zyada patient hone chahiye. A decent flow is okay because a lot of people saying that if the flow is not good, then you don't want to be a doctor. Nahi That's also absolute bullshit. US and UK, where is the patient flow? This means that US and UK doctor not good doctor. So that's not true. A decent flow is okay. It doesn't happen that the patient is not good. How do you learn how to learn, obviously? Right? So there should be a good amount of patients in the inpatient department, admitted patients, in which you can practice examination skills. Your OPD skills, you know, prescription writing and everything, OPD ke patients. Ko dekke. And hostel. Hostel is how hostel are. rules are. Uh, do you imagine yourself, you know, can you imagine yourself being in those hostels for the next five, five and a half years? So 
पूछो उनसे कि पीजी का क्या सीन है बॉन्ड का क्या सीन है एंड ऑल दैट सो गेट अ ओवरऑल पिक्चर टेक अ ट्रिप टेक अ थ्री फोर डे ट्रिप गो देयर एंड दिस इज द परफेक्ट टाइम देखो फिर से एज यू लॉट ऑफ यू माइट नो ओमनिकॉन करके एक अजीब सा वेरियंट आ गया है कोरोना वायरस का यू नेवर नो वेन द नेक्स्ट पीक इन इंडिया इज गोइंग टू कम बट लेट्स से नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन टू थर्टी डेज अभी कुछ नहीं होने वाला द केसेज आर नॉट गोइंग टू राइज सो गो टू गो लेट्स से टेकिंग दिस एग्जाम्पल गुवाहाटी जाओ मेक अ ट्रिप इन द नॉर्थ ईस्ट कन्फ्यूज बिटवीन जे एम सी एच भोपाल या इंदौर वर्जेस यू नो एम्स भोपाल भोपाल जाओ सी द ट्रॉपिक ऑफ कैंसर देयर यू नो क्या कहते हैं एक्सप्लोर अदर साइड्स इन भोपाल मेक अ ट्रिप टू रंथम बोर आर थिंग्स लाइक दैट यू नो मेक अ स्मॉल ट्रिप लाइक फाइव टू सेवन डे ट्रिप विद योर फैमिली यू हैव अर्न इट यू आर डेफिनेटली अर्न इट टेक अ ट्रेन गो देयर you will learn you will absolutely enjoy you all must be 17 18 years old you must learn to not just learn you will enjoy going alone matlab mere sab se parents ke sath bhi na jao akele bhi jao to bahut acha hai to that's one thing i'll advise second uh, this is something i said in my previous video as well teach i absolutely emphasize this to anyone start small and but kuch padhao dekho i like i have told ki i'll start teaching biology definitely uh, biology is in fact something which is like 9 years pehle maine kabhi padhi thi if you go through my previous youtube videos initially when i started my youtube channel back in 2018 i started by teaching just aims ke previous year question the pg entrance usme main ek chote chote topics padhata tha and i absolutely used to enjoy that apne concept bhi clear hote the tum bhi shuru karo एक क्वेश्चन बायोलॉजी का पढ़ाओ एक क्वेश्चन केमिस्ट्री का पढ़ाओ इस बार जो नीट का पेपर आया है उसके वीडियोस डाल दो तुमने कैसे अटेम्प्ट किया तुमने क्या गलती की तुमने क्या सही किया तुम्हारा क्या एक्सपीरियंस था नीट यूजी के पेपर का बट स्टार्ट यूट्यूब पे स्टार्ट कर सकते हो एक छोटा सा व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप बना सकते हो अपने जूनियर्स के लिए और उसमें उनको मोटिवेट कर सकते हो बट वट यू आर डूइंग नो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज स्मॉल इनफ जस्ट स्टार्ट दैट्स द ओनली थिंग आई से uh and someone who's from small town you can always join a tuition or a coaching institute there to teach your juniors you know you will be contributing to them as well second third thing is this is what a lot of people are asking they are thinking ki ab college shuru hone wala hai to padhai thodi pehle hi kar lete hain i'll advise against that mbbs mein bahut padhai hai kyun apna time abhi tum log pareshan khud ko pareshan karna chahte ho i'll rather suggest ki non fiction and novels pad lo जो नॉन फिक्शन लिस्ट है वो मैंने पहले बताई हुई है लिस्ट इज द सेम दो बुक्स आर एक्सलेंट बुक्स इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ वेदर यू आर अंडर ग्रेजुएट और पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट नहीं पढ़ी तो गो ऑन हैव दो हैव दैट लिस्ट नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट अगर तुम्हें लगता है कि नहीं मुझे पता है कि मेरे को कॉलेज कौन सा चूज करना है यू आर डिसाइड अपॉन द कॉलेज यू आर डेफिनेटली गेटिंग दैट कॉलेज तुम्हारा ट्रैवल करने का कोई मूड नहीं है तुम्हारा पढ़ाने का भी कोई मूड नहीं है तुम पढ़ना चाहते हो यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी कि फर्स्ट ईयर शुरू हो जाएगा बहुत थिक टिक हो जाएगा इन दैट सिन आर यो आई से अनाट uh, के अलावा फिजियो बाइकम तुम्हारे लिए थोड़ी सी आसान होगी अभी समझनी अनाट जब तक तो तुम डाइसेक्शन नहीं करते ना समझ नहीं आती तो अनाट इज़ अ लॉट ऑफ मेमराइजेशन रोट मेमराइजेशन एज वेल सो इट बिकम्स रेडी टफ टू रिमेंबर अनाटमी इन सच एन आर्यल सजेस्ट दैट फिजियोलॉजी बायोकेमिस्ट्री तुम पढ़ सकते हो वट आर द बेस्ट रिसोर्स वट आर द बेस्ट बुक्स इसके ऊपर भी मैं एक वीडियो बनाऊंगा कि फिजियो किस बुक से पढ़ो बायोकेम किस बुक से पढ़ो आई सिक्योर्ड अ डिस्टिंगशन इन अनाटमी एंड आ गॉड अ गोल्ड मेडल इन बायोकेमिस्ट्री नॉट शोइंग ऑफ जस्ट टेलिंग यू दट येस आई कैन गिव डिसेंट एडवाइस एज फार एज वॉट बुक्स टू रीड सो थैंक यू होपफुली यू विल यू नो मेक द मोस्ट प्रोडक्टिव यूज ऑफ द दीज नेक्स्ट टू मंथ्स इवन इफ यू डोंट कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता आई मीन यू नो यू गाइज हैव क्राक प्रॉब्लम वन ऑफ द मोस्ट टफेस्ट एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशन इन द वर्ल्ड जस्ट एन्जॉय हैव अ गुड ग्रेट लाइफ थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे